and welcome to the show. We start this week's Power Race episode with Mr. Payne on GTA 5 in a vehicle that's ended up upside down in a river. Now, I'm not quite sure how it's managed this, however, the interesting thing to note is the car, despite looking in rather a predicament, isn't dead. And somehow, despite being upside down and very, very flooded, the car still works absolutely fine. It's only because the player started drowning that they decided to move the car out of the river. That's definitely the longest and sort of most submerged I've seen a car still be all okay to work. An orange Hellcat up next on GTA 5, driving a slightly battered elegy uh, around, goes for a jump, as you do of course. Uh, doesn't quite get the height needed, ends up crashing into a skip. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you couldn't really park that much better if you tried in there. Uh, it's also now glitching out and everything's on fire, so it's safe to say not quite the best of plans. Invisible AK up next, also on GTA 5, with uh, quite possibly the most dangerous bit of debris. Note in the distance, one car has rolled, uh, two car has rolled, three car has gone for a very big jump and a roll, and two of those rolls have led to cars falling off the map. Yeah, that's one barrier. One barrier being slightly shunted out of place, and... <laughs> Many problems were had. A Tila up next on Horizon 4. Now note, this is doing the Horizon Festival drag, okay? Bunch of minis racing down the drag strip. However, the game loads up the wrong race for them. They all start at the drag strip. The player goes to complete the drag race as all the minis turn left because the game's loaded up a point to point or something? It's weird. I know it's something to do with creating maps in the game sometimes getting confused, but I haven't seen that one before. Uh, Yami here, up next on Forza Motorsport 7, racing at Maple Valley with an Audi TT that's had enough of staying on its wheels. I've seen and been a part of some big crashes at Maple Valley. It's not normally there. It's not normally there. It's not normally in that manner that vehicles get quite so upset. Just, it, it couldn't deal with the landing. Uh, for whatever reason, that had had enough. Media covers and, and carry on, etc. A Dark Slayer up next on a Call of Duty. I didn't even know there were tanks in Call of Duty. That's how long it's been since I've played this game, but, uh, or this series, uh, there is a tank. So naturally, you want to get in the tank, you want to drive around with the tank. However, tank physics leave <laughs> some to be desired. The player, far too busy shooting at people on a rooftop. You know, fair enough, someone parachuting out somewhere, goes for a shot at that, hits a lamppost, tank decides it wants to go for a fly. I mean, it's GTA 5 levels of tank physics. Uh, only this one, it seems quite light. Tank may, may be made of paper, I'm not sure. Uh, Johnny up next on Need Speed Underground 2, racing an MX-5, that's an incredibly interestingly modified 206. <laughs> Either way, the MX-5 gets tagged with an AI car making a mistake, goes for a many number of spins before landing point in the road. I don't know whether the Peugeot is more of a fail than the actual spins from the Mazda, but never mind. A Killer Eagle up next on the speed heat, doing one of time trials. Now watch the time trial ghost here. So trying to beat their own personal best time. And, well, that's not how you get the speed down here, is it? That's quite an impre- I mean, I want to see a car go down the road like that. We're now doing pogo sticks with, I presume, the Vulcan. I uh, can't quite make out what it is from the ghost. Uh, in the end, things are wrong in this run of the car. The ghost does stop uh, pinging itself around, but, uh, yeah, that's unusual. A dilly up next, also on need speed. Heat almost gets things wrong with the BMW. Just keeps the car out of the water. The best bit, though, is while you don't actually see it, the police car that was giving chase drove itself into the water. <laughs> We'd love to be able to see the police car, but, yeah, well, the car giving chase also went off. I when Neve Speed Heat, uh, RX-7 goes for the uh, billboard, but can't quite get back into the right position for the next jump, and that leads to a Mazda stuck between two motorhomes. And yes, that's a Mazda that doesn't really want the camera, doesn't really know what to do by the looks of it, but that's uh, a <laughs> Mazda stuck. I guess it might be action camera or something. So, I don't know, I never used it. Um, it just, just got wedged. Eventually the game does reset the car and lets them continue onwards, but... Uh, Far from helpful. I, that's the risk you take trying to get a billboard in the middle of a time trial, I guess. Uh, David, up next, also on heat, goes for a little bit of a shortcut towards the finish line. That's not the best idea with the Audi, it's <laughs> safe to say. Turns out, see, I've, I've played a fair bit of heat, and I've never really had the really wacky, crazy flip through the air uh, nonsense that we've seen quite a lot of, but apparently that does happen. The R8, you know, it lands and still manages to take a victory. A lot of fire coming out of it as it went across the line in reverse, but... There we go. It is still a victory at the end of the day. Just would have probably preferred less of the cartwheeling. General Mills uh, finding out that hitting the apron uh, at 220 odd miles an hour in the BMW is not the best idea because we've again got many, many flips. I mean, that's a brutal, 
brutal kind of starting of the accident there. It is sort of... Yeah, it hit just immediately into a tumble. It doesn't actually lose all that much time, amazingly, but there we go. A Clio player up next on NASCAR 2003. Now, this is all AI shenanigans going on here. No player car involved in this, but two AI cars get stuck together. Both go off towards the wall, and in true NASCAR fashion, or NASCAR 2003 fashion at least, uh, ping themselves back across the track. None of the AI know how to deal with this, and everybody plows into the wreck, making things ten times worse as more and more cars <laughs> continue to get involved. Yeah, it's just two cars. I mean, four wide, I guess, was a little bit too much, and as they just get connected together, nobody can sort the cars out in time. This is from on board, or watching the other car, if you like, slides up into the track, taking out whatever might be coming across. I have seen bigger crashes, but it's still pretty nasty. It's still, I mean, it almost looks like it might get away with just two cars being involved in this one, but no. <laughs> more and more vehicles have to plough into it, and that's a good portion of the field right now. This was from on board another one of the AR cars that gets incredibly lucky. So we see the crash going off to the left. The cars end up bouncing across the grass, heading back on the circuit. I mean, this car goes almost underneath. Uh, somehow we're to the inside of all of that. A couple of cars get by on the inside there as the rest of the wreck goes on. Yeah, that's uh, quite some survival from, the, from that point of view. That, though, is going to be it for this video. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Ferris Clip Submission section right at the top of the page, and you can find all the rules and how to submit them in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.